We got one coming in from Cyrus. He says, Dear Castle Super Beast, regarding your story last episode about developers saying Mass Effect 3 is a great place to start the series. A similar oh thing God. happened to Trails of Cold Steel 3 last year when asked at a Q&A if the game would be a good starting point. Uh, Nissa answered with a resounding yes, despite the fact that it's the eighth entry into the ongoing story-focused RPG uh, they could have recommend they could have recommended newcomers to start at the beginning, but they instead to chose chose to be disingenuous to market the game. Incredible. Hey, should I buy Eighth. your product? Eighth. Should I buy your product? I mean, no. It's it's coming out, and you're selling it for money. And there are reasons why I might not enjoy it if I buy it. But do you think I should buy it, though? You should buy it. You should buy it. Bro, I don't it. understand what's happening in this game. I just I wish someone would fucking tell me. <laughs> I wish someone would tell me. That's why games take their numbers off, by the way. That's the number one reason. Games pull numbers off their fucking games. But if the content because... of the game is still the hard sequel, then fuck you for doing that. Why are you lying? Hey, do you remember what the original Witcher 3 title and logo were? Was it just Wild Hunt? It Okay, so it was... Uh, I'm gonna send you a link to it. So it was it was Witcher Three Wild Hunt, right? But give me the photo. It was The Witcher Three, big three, like big number three, right? Mm -hmm. Wild Hunt, mm -hmm. and then they changed the logo so that it's the the three. So that the Goes three below. is three lines the scratches yeah, that yeah, yeah. form the a scratches. helmet. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So that it, it so you would actually look at it and go the Witcher Wild Hunt and you go yeah. oh that's the first one. Yeah. Why not go the opposite way and make it Witch Thrower? <laughs> it was probably considered. Listen, I, I'm asking rhetorical questions because the answer is always very clear. If you make people think they can jump in now, you will sell more copies and make more money. Of course. Story. Um, it's just like Kingdom Hearts 3. It's a know. great place to start. It's actually the 18th or 19th game in the series. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know. This is what it is, right? You mark you market the game, you market the way you're gonna be the most profitable. This is this is how decision making goes. That's fine. Can you do the decent work of uh, making a little catch up for anyone jumping in here? As in, Yakuza, no, Yakuza three had a what happened in Yakuza one and two little movie. Four did too. Um, Shenmue five doesn't. Shenmue had that. Uh, Zone of the Enders 2 had that. Little catch-up movie? Can you do the decent job of making no. a catch-up movie? If you no. Wanna, if you want to get people in? So that when you lie to them to their face, you can at least say, I it's the perfect place to jump in, uh, and if you want to catch up on what happened, we have a little feature here for you. I don't want to. That takes time. Do you think that guy in the tweet watched the 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 10 minute DMC recap? No. <laughs> Cuz it's like what happened in DMC? Here's like 30 seconds to go over uh every major event. And then here's 5 seconds for DMC 2. It happened. Moving yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, it was there. Lucy was there for like a second. She throws knives. Done. <sighs> Video games are terrible. I think Metal Gear is one of the worst um, cases because the weight of its own popularity, every release was monumental, 
right? Every single Metal Gear Solid release was yep. a, 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 a fucking mover. Every time it dropped, it had that effect, but it's also the most convoluted series to ever play standalone. There, 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 there are twists in every game that, including the first, including Metal Gear Solid 1, which if you don't know anything about the games that came before it, they'll go, <gasps> twist! And you just blink and just stare straight. And you just, and so looking... So, so looking, what? I don't... Who? Looking back on it, I'm actually kind of surprised at how little I remember any instances of, um, like, massive anger at new players jumping in and getting lost. Because I kind of think, like, the game is, like, even casually and meme level known for being crazy complex and wacky in its storytelling. Well, it didn't run into that problem because Metal Gear wasn't a series in which it didn't start out that popular and then became hyper popular. It started out crazy popular. M MGS1 fucking killed it on the PS1. Yeah, it did. I mean, so, I, like, people... there was the recap for Metal Gear 1 and 2 in MGS1. And yeah. then you, like, the it was so popular that, like, it, it, you didn't run into that problem. It's not the situation where, like me, for example, where Halo 1 and 2 came out on the Xbox, a, a console that didn't sell very well. But Halo 3 came out on the 360, which everybody had. So... Tons more people played Halo Three than played Halo One or Two. There were, and then I was like, "What happened?" There were uh, very few people that were like, "Oh my god, I remember that Nintendo game." Yeah, okay. There's a couple of those. Um, there was even fewer people that were like, "Fuck yeah, Snatcher and Police Knots, let's go." Uh, and in and, and Solid uh, MG Metal Gear Two Solid Snake. MSX, you know, uh, uh, fans like, yeah, that that was it, solid is definitely what kind of like created the, you know, awareness of like, oh fuck, this is a crazy ass series and it's and it's awesome, but everything that came after that, uh, just, you know, despite the fact that it's a large enough popular franchise to have tons of people jumping in for the first time, uh, I just don't remember there being. A lot of like you know like indignation at not understanding what was happening in these very clear sequences. I think a lot of that was was masked by the the parallel indignation of people complaining that the story was garbage because there was always there was always that version of like I played MGS3 the story's not so good I don't get what you guys are on about and then you go well did you play the for other two and they were like no you like mm. ah, mm. Okay. ah, perhaps to some degree. Like mm. I would, I would go as far as say that MGS 2's story is terrible if you didn't play MGS one, because <laughs> a lot of that game's narrative relies on you remembering MGS one. Four doesn't exist if you play it. Four by is nonsense four does it it, four literally does not exist if that's the only game you've played or if that's when you decided to jump in if you i cannot if oh. you <laughs> if you floated in on the bandwagon on four because it was the big ps3 title at the time uh fucking oof <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah 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 no no question no question if four was your first one, <laughs> good luck. If you made it out and you survived, then uh, kudos to you. Holy shit, a lot of people played four for the first game. God that's fucked. Damn, that's crazy. That's so... In Do you realize how insane that is? It's insane because everything in four relies on the reference to the previous thing. And Every all it is... Thing. Every single point, every single level, every single character, every it's single like a family event, guy bit. Every single event occurring is just hey, it's an All Stars episode. Like down to the point of like, did you know that guy's not actually a magic vampire? 
He's a techno vampire. Okay. Who, oh my why? God! Look at Raiden. Look at him. He's so cool now. What the fuck? What? What happened Who? to Raiden? How did he get this way? What happened to what? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess the oh, age, by the way, I, have, I guess I, the age lines I, up. You know. I I have the confirmation that uh yeah in the U S you can totally return opened video games up to thirty days. Okay. So the the value proposition of digital is very different. Uh, I don't know of any store I it, in my life that I could ever return a new game uh, opened until ga once GameStop shut down its return policy in like 2005, where you could return it, a, a new game for credit. Um, and the reason why they stopped that was because you could use that credit and you could on used games and you could return the used games for full price within a 14 day window and people like me just scammed the shit out of them i had that zone of the enders 2 92 dollars canadian go through like 20 games just scammed the fuck out of them and then they then they killed that refund policy forever. I'm still hung up on this, but if Guns of the Patriots was your first Metal Gear game, <laughs> in the big moment when they're talking about the legacy of the boss and all the stupidity that came afterwards, like mm -hmm. did how does that moment even hit you without the con like without Just the thinking of him on the boat doing the finger guns. <laughs> what like and or, and somebody going why do people care about this series i don't get it or like mama shows up and it's like okay some lady sure <laughs> i i you know like i i can't begin to imagine what that must be like that must be such a fucking you imagine like, turning to your friend and being like hey why is that guy shit his pants and you go oh that's johnny he always shits his pants and you go, what or the Why? fucking, the fucking, <laughs> like, the stinger that is an old man wheels out an even older ass man and just fucking plugs him out and then they go, boom, holy shit. <laughs> and you're we like, did it. What? And like, for anyone who's been on the journey, you're freaking out at this moment because this is the most important shit ever. But you're like... Who are these old, you know? Think about what this is, just from, from a distance. It's an old guy just unplugging some other fucking geezer. Like... And now we will all return to zero. This is good, isn't what? it? <laughs> is it? I don't know. I go, oh, man, you guys, you know. Unless you played it, unless you guys played it with, like, the energy of... I don't expect to understand. I know this says four on it, so I'm just going to stop trying. Then fine, you know? But it's still like, I, I got Remember I that Courage is Solid thing made that game look so action-packed? And then that game has like hour and 15 minute cutscenes. Mm. Like the talk with Mama is like 45 minutes straight. It's crazy. If you, if you, no, if you... I know ex I know exactly what it feels like. Playing MGS four as your first game feels like playing Death Stranding. <laughs> as I, Death Stranding. I, I, yes, but Death <laughs> Stranding has enough reading material that you can take it from step one. But you're correct. You're correct. It feels like a bunch of games happened. Yeah, no, that no. You didn't it yes. See. Agree. Yes. This is this is this is <laughs> It feels like Mads Mickelson's character had a whole game. A uh, 100%. And we saw the end of his journey and it could have been unbelievable in that previous like game. Uh, uh, totally. Um fucking everything yeah. There was a, there was an entire Die Hard Man Gaiden. Absolutely, 
People talk about- Oh, remember how cool Die Hard Man was? No! How could I possibly know that? Uh... Yeah. Like, Hard Man has a whole game. Of how he- Like, he tells you the backstory of how he became Hard Man? That could be a whole game. I mean, look, like... Uh, there is, what's the, um, what's that, that's that, uh, the, there's the boss in Dark Souls that, uh, is, uh, referencing, uh, uh, their previous game, um, King's Field? Yeah, but, I mean, what boss? There's a lot of referential stuff. Uh, I think it's Seath, actually. Seath is a character in Kingsfield. Uh is is Seath directly from Kingsfield? Yeah, okay. I yeah. didn't realize that. Moonlight uh, Greatsword too. Uh Lords of Cinder and um the Moon yeah, the Moonlight Greatsword and um the um hooded hooded fucking dude with the with the big with the with the like kind of wings that you fight in the dark in the pit there. Shit. Uh the fuck are you talking about? Ah, all right. Because I was gonna, I was basically gonna like gonna ask about like uh, Dark Lurker. Thank you, Dark Lurker. Oh, is Dark Lurker from Kingsfield? Uh, yes, that's that's uh, a, 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 an earlier reference. Um, and uh, I was gonna say like if you play those games and. They actually made it so that, like, it was impossible to parse what was going on without having played the Kingsfield series, you know, oh, and man. they, like, <laughs> the absurdity that would come from that, you know, uh, but obviously my memory is Nobody shit, wants so. to play Kingsfield. So. I don't want to play Kingsfield. <sighs> okay. Those games are neat, and I don't want to play them. In conclusion, uh, for the second week in a row, uh, don't skip the thing unless you're supposed to skip the thing. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to, I'd like to clarify an earlier statement because I saw people confused about when I say when because we talk about Witcher right as the the game it's a game series I've seen the most people skip the first one. And I always say it's because uh, Witcher 1 is a fucked up game for crazy people. Mm -hmm. And I saw some folks interpret that as like, oh, is it because it's like an Eastern European RPG? And the answer is no. It's because it is uh, like a fuck. It is like alternating between a fucking flaming mess and brilliant. And it fucking barely works. And the combat is terrible. Combat is terrible in that game. Oh my god. Yo, I cannot wait to see what Demon Fusion is going to look like in 5. Like, the quality of life is now going to be further and more advanced than ever before. It will be a fucking cakewalk to find what you want and just do it. I will be glad to play that version of Demon Fusion. It's you know what I would like? I would oh please God for Nocturne fucking clean up Demon Fusion and update it. Please, like this is this please, is what I'm Lord. saying because I'm watching I'm watching as Punch Mom is closing out uh, P4 right now, and uh, like thinking about and 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 um, um, my friend was playing like P3P the other day and just thinking about like where this goes and 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 the number one biggest impact on your life playing all of these games is your demon fusion mechanic getting worse and worse as you go back in time and, it's unbelievable uh the there, amount of everyone hour, has their limit hours you lose hours on it 
Like, uh, I refuse to go back to any game before Persona 4 Golden because every game before that had, had you going in and out of the menu a million times to hope to get the right skills. Yeah, 3 was three was brutal. 3 was brutal. Um, but again, and I know that you the further back you go, the more brutal it gets. But, uh, you know, uh, so the, the... Like, I can see Punch Mom running out of patience with it as we go further back in time, you know? But um, I, I definitely cannot wait to see what the modern take on it is where you're just like everything is fucking indexed you can pick a demon and get the results you can you know it reverse image it's like google versus like uh, a modern day versus fucking uh uh uh, uh alta vista of yesteryear you know oh, man. like you have reverse demon search you got just combine like just everything every possibility and like put them in jail level them up all that you know and and then i'm um, thinking about where smt4 was at with the like uh yeah that the entire the entire system in four was just like you know search fusions by skills yes please. you want yes. search like yeah uh, search I, fusions by new oh my god like there can be there can be a whole team assigned to just the demon fusion of every SMT game, and uh, just improving that on its own and making it the smoothest, most seamless experience ever. Because it's where you're going to spend what twenty five percent of your time. Probably twenty five percent of your time. Yeah, 